There's a lot of red out there, us included, of course, here wearing red today. It's Go Red for Women Day. It is a day where the American Heart Association brings awareness to women's heart health. And in case the old color isn't enough to catch your attention, then your side, Stephanie Harris, is here now with a real special treat for some adorable newborns donned in red as well. Yeah, if that color bright color red didn't catch your attention. Surely these adorable <laughs> little newborns will, right? They're so cute. They are so cute. And the staff at Bon Secours, Mary Immaculate and Newport News accessorized all their newborns today. The idea being while you're ooing and aahing over these little cutie pies, you might just learn something that could save your life. Who can resist these little cuties? I love to get to come up and see the blessings of new birth. Today in red hats knitted by hospital volunteers, they're helping teach their new mommies about heart health. I had a whole lot of heartburns because she has a whole lot of hair, so yes. <laughs> well, not that kind of heart health. We're talking about heart disease, the number one killer of women. And it's not the classic, you know, movie theater clutching of your chest and falling to the ground. Dr. Marlene Caps explains women's different signs and symptoms. They include shortness of breath, fatigue, nausea, and neck or jaw pain. Well, if we don't take care of ourselves, we won't be there to take care of our loved ones. Moms and dads who eat right, exercise, and avoid tobacco have kids who grow up doing the same. And now I'm going to start exercising and drinking more water. And <laughs> Jordan McDermott also has to consider the genes she's passing along to baby Frankie. My grandma has AFib, so, and we have a couple of other heart issues. I don't know what they are, but it runs deep in the family. <laughs> Women with a family history are encouraged to talk with their doctors early and get regular screenings. Look at your family history. Uh, we grow into to who we came from. It's part nature, part nurture. Being love and being genuine and, you know, just being uh, you know, a helpful person when it comes to others and loving people, you know, loving your neighbor. That's why I go by. Learning to have a good heart and a healthy heart. It all starts in the cradle. If you'd like to find out your risk for heart disease and what else you can do to live a heart healthy lifestyle, just go to wavy.com. I posted a link to the American Heart Association's Go Red for Women resources with this story. Stephanie Harris, 10 on your side.